Hey guys, some of you asked me to make a video on relationship advice for men. Now, some of you watching this video might think, man, I don't need any relationship advice. It's easy. I know what I'm doing. Just thinking that probably shows that you do need relationship advice. Think about it. Think about this seriously. How do you have and sustain a successful, healthy, beautiful marriage? How do you have a true relationship of love? The kind of relationship everyone wants to have, but so few really find. What is the secret? The answer is not found in only one thing, but many things, many little things put together. And that is why so many relationships today fail because a lot of people just want quick fixes. And that's the problem when it comes to relationships. Why? Because there are no quick fixes in relationships. It takes time, patience, and most of all, hard work. Listen to this. That which you work the hardest for are also the things you will appreciate the most in your life. Now, there are many things that we can talk about. But let me only give you 10 points, 10 things that will help you to have a successful, healthy, beautiful relationship that you will treasure until the day you die. Number one, get out if you don't want to marry. If you are in a relationship and you know, man, I don't really want to marry this girl, then what are you doing? You are a time bomb waiting to cause a lot of pain. Only get into a relationship if you believe that you want to marry this girl. Because if you don't, then you are wasting a lot of time and you're also going to cause a lot of hurt. Many people go into one relationship after the other. And in the end, they carry all that baggage with them into the next one, causing more harm and more damage. Then if you're unsure, you need to look out for those warning signs that show you, you probably should not marry her. For example, she does not respect you in front of other people. She always thinks she is right and never apologizes. She does not have the same beliefs as you do. She does not take responsibility for her own actions. She always screams and walks away when she has a conflict with someone, instead of calmly talking things out. Now, of course, this is not easy because people are not perfect. But still, you need to keep your eyes out for certain signs that shows you, man, these signs are just getting more and more and more and more. And this is important because remember, if you marry her, you're going to spend the rest of your life with her. And not just that, marriage is not just about you, but about the family and your kids. So ask her her views when it comes to raising children or how to work with money. These are some of the things that couples argue about the most. And a marriage can either be very, very beautiful, amazing, or it can almost be like hell on earth. So make sure you talk about these important issues before marriage. And let me just say this again. While you look for those signposts, those warning signs, always remember that people are not perfect. So if you're looking for the perfect woman, you'll never find her because you yourself are not perfect. But there are definitely certain types of girls that will not be a great fit for you. Be unselfish. True love is not selfish. Look around you, look at the world. People have become very selfish in almost everything they do. And that is why so many people struggle to have good relationships. For some reason, people think that if they put themselves first, you know, they will be more happier. But it's actually the opposite. The more they put themselves first, the more selfish they become, the more they push other people away and the more unhappier they become. Not just unhappy, but lonely. C.S. Lewis said, love is unselfishly choosing for another's highest good. This type of love is not a feeling. That means in those situations when you don't feel like loving the other person, you still love them because it's a decision that you make. So love is not a feeling. This true love, agape love, is not a feeling. It is an act of your will. So even when you are in a disagreement, you can choose to be unselfish 
and love the other person. A lot of people, when it comes to relationships, they only focus on the eros love, which means romantic love, but they don't have the agape love, which is the unconditional love, the love that's not a feeling, but an active decision, a choice that you make, that you love the other person even when you don't feel like it. And that is why so many relationships fail, because they only focus on the eros love. But ask any person who's been married for a few years, if you only focus on eros love, your marriage will fail. You need unconditional love, agape love, to carry you through. Look your best. I really mean look your best, your physical appearance. For some reason, a lot of guys when they get married, they stop caring about the way they look. Why? You have to have enough respect for yourself to take care of yourself. Eat healthy, stay in shape, cut your hair, style it, trim your beard, put on the right outfits for the right occasions, and just look good for her. Why? So that she can see that you're putting in the effort to look good for her. So that she can see that you're not lazy. So that she can see that you respect yourself enough and her as well so that you take care of yourself. Do I need to go on? You are not giving it your best in a relationship if you're not even trying to really look good. You need to do your best when it comes to looking presentable and attractive for your own wife. Keep that spark alive. Say, I'm sorry. A lot of guys don't want to say they're sorry because for some reason they think they will look weak when they do it. But it doesn't take strength. It's, it's easy to not say you're sorry, to be full of pride. That's super easy. It is hard. It takes a lot more strength as a man to say, I'm sorry. For me, this is not even difficult anymore. Because when you're wrong, you're wrong. Take responsibility for your actions. Everything you say and everything you do. Full stop. If you're wrong about something, you need to apologize. And how can you expect her to apologize to you when you don't do it? You, you can't expect that from her. And here's the problem. In those kind of relationships where both parties, they don't want to take responsibility, they don't want to say they're sorry, that kind of relationship will never work. It is impossible. Give each other space. If you are a clinger, very clingy, then you need to hear this today. Some people, when they marry, they cling so tightly to their partner that they start to think all the happiness and joy should come from their partner. So they cling so tightly that they suffocate their partner. No, your partner is not responsible for your joy, for your happiness. You are. You are responsible for your own actions, the way you think about things. You need to take responsibility for your own life. Not only is it wrong to be super clingy and expect everything from your partner, that they should give you everything and then you'll be happy, not only is it wrong, it is selfish. It is always better to give than to receive. And that is especially true when it comes to relationships. Answer me truthfully. How many times do you think, man, she should do this for me? Or no, she, she should do this better. Or no, she should change. She should do this. How many times are you thinking that instead of thinking, man, I wonder what she needs from me right now? And that's the problem you see when both parties think, man, she should give me this or he should give me that. When they both just need things the whole time instead of just giving to each other what they both need. Instead of thinking, I want, 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 want. Think, what does she want? What does she need? Both parties need to think like that. And then you'll have a happy, successful relationship. Be quiet and just hug her. You don't always need to be right. You don't always need to win the argument. Because what sense is there? What, you know, there's nothing smart in that. To win the argument, but then you lose the person. You lose her in the process. Please don't be that person who never listens, who always talks over your wife, and who just wants to always voice your opinion while having no interest in really understanding her. Women are different. They are not like guys. Sometimes she doesn't need a rational solution to her problem. She just needs you to listen and to hug. That's it. Women are like that. 
But the worst thing that you can do is to be unwilling to listen, to talk over her, and you just want to voice your own opinion. An old wise book said this, A fool takes no pleasure in understanding, but only in expressing his opinion. Do you know this book? It's called the Bible. <laughs> you need to read it a little bit more. Are you a fool? I hope not, because why would you be a fool? Why would you act like a fool to the one that you're supposed to love? Make the effort. The effort of what? Of everything. Keep the spark alive. Keep the fire alive at all times. Take her on dates. Get the flowers. Tell her how much she means to you. Talk to her with love and respect. Make her coffee. Open the door for her and praise her in front of other people. Should I go on? Listen carefully. You should never do it just because you want to receive it back from her. You do it with the intention of doing it because you love her and you don't want to receive anything back. If you treat her as a queen, she will treat you as a king. Never give up. Believe me, there will be times where she will let you down and where you will let her down. Why? Because we are humans. We have a sinful nature within us. We are not perfect and we make mistakes. So it will happen. And when it does happen, don't give up. Don't fight, don't argue. Control your emotions, sit down and talk it out like adults. You married her. She is the woman you chose. So never give up on her because it might be easy to give up. But the regret that comes after that will not be easy to handle. So forgive each other, understanding that you are not perfect. Learn from the mistakes and then move on. Grow from it. Speak less and listen more. How well do you really know her? Do you truly make the time to listen to her? Her desires, her needs, her dreams, her ideas, her favorite things to do, her plans, her everything. Some guys just speak too much and they don't listen. But when you speak so much, you talk so much to her, you just tell her what you already know and think, but you don't learn anything. When you listen, that is the time when you actually learn new things about her. Understand your role as a good husband. Some of you might not have had a great example because you grew up without a father, so you're a little bit unclear. Some of you might have had a father, but he was not a great husband, so you're also a little bit uncertain. And some of you might have a father who was great, but there's still room to grow. And you know yourself there's still room to grow. But then there are some guys who think, I know how to be a great husband. I know exactly. You are probably the most dangerous because that just shows that you are not perfect. Because no human being, especially men, are perfect. We are not perfect. And there's always room to grow. And if we think that we know everything, that means that we think we don't need to grow. That means we will be stuck in life. And that means that we have an ego problem, a pride problem. Oh no, I'm perfect. Pride and ego, oof, those things will destroy a marriage. You need to be open to learn and to grow because it will never stop. C.S. Lewis said, mere change is not growth. Growth is the synthesis of change and continuity. And where there is no continuity, there is no growth. To boost your relationship, to have a successful, healthy relationship, you need to understand what true love really is. And most people today, sadly, they don't understand what true love really is. Because we are flawed people living in a flawed world. But if you want to know, you want to learn, you want to grow, first, understand what true love is. Watch this video here from my other channel and I'll see you there. And before you go, always remember, life is short, so don't waste yours. Cheers, guys.